This is a short video on ITIL and why I think it's important as the uh, uh, having had uh, 20 <clears throat> plus years experience and worked in about nine different uh, customer support centers I think I have a bit of experience in this and uh, I have experienced uh, call centers that were not ITIL and I've experienced call centers that did follow the ITIL recommendations and I can truly say that I appreciate those that follow ITIL. Um, some of the main reasons are that ITIL itself allows organizations to speak in a language of business instead of a language of IT. It allows IT to talk services along the same lines as oh, electricity or um, garbage pickup or um, phone service or cable TV. It allows us to speak to our government management in a manner that they uh, comprehend and they can then translate into their reports. Um, most organizations cannot say that part of their mission includes IT. IT is merely a method that allows them to accomplish their mission more um, efficiently. So that being said, it's very difficult for organizations to justify, all by themselves, to justify IT funding. So from a government organizational standpoint, to consolidate under a organization like CIO really makes sense. The CIO's job is to handle information assets and the users, in this case it would be the different agencies, would then pay for the assets just like they would pay for phone service. Um, in the end, it's more efficient, less uh, costly, and they can justify it by saying our business is not IT, our business is this or this or this for the public, and IT is merely a set of services that are provided. So <clears throat> one of the main reasons that ITIL makes sense is it allows the IT organization to speak in a language that the customer can understand in relation to their business. So ITIL uh, focuses services on the business rather than focusing on um, the amount of the budget that's used by IT or, or that sort of thing, servers and and when you start talking um, uh, things like that, the users frequently don't fully comprehend what they're talking about. You say, I need you know twenty more servers, or I need you know more x thousands of floor space for raised floor rack mounted, and you know you've lost them. To them, uh, they really don't care so long as the services are provided. For example, if somebody says, I need phone service, they don't say, well, we need, you know, X amount of rack space in a closet or whatever. No. The closet is built into the design. You get phone service and the service closet and what's in it and how it's uh, powered and etc is all part of that service that you've requested in this case phone service so from an ITIL standpoint you can uh, speak in business terms for IT very similar to uh, telephone service or video uh, teleconferencing or, or all of those sorts of things so it, it really does make sense in the long run to be able to speak in a language that your customers can understand because it's more focused on business rather than IT all by itself.